hi guys so i am back with another video this one's going to be a little bit different i'm actually going to show you how i'm going to set up my planner that i'm going to be taking to disney i'm going to be taking my erin condren as always but i'm going to be carrying this in my backpack on the airplane and it's going to be kind of like a memory keeper too where i can keep a whole bunch of like stuff like the tickets and fast passes that we have extra of or anything like that so if you want to see me set up my Foxy Fix Traveler's Notebook, then just keep on watching. So let's just jump into the um, Traveler's Notebook first. This is my Foxy Fix Wanderlust in Licorice. It's very beat up already. I took this one to San Francisco. I set it up for San Francisco. Loved having it, loved like just doodling in it and then writing what we had planned. So I already have inserts in here. I already have my dashboards in here kind of how i want it set up i have my two paper clips here i forget where this one's from this one's from planner glam girl but it's very old i don't think she has it anymore and then i will find out where i got this mini bow i do have a few other uh paper clips or yeah a few other paper clips coming but it's not here yet i feel like setting up a traveler's notebook there is no end to it you always find more and more things to put into it so this is just going to be my initial setup this is a number two pocket wide it has a six inserts in it yes they do fit it comes right to the edge just how i like it that's how all of my number twos are set up with a6 inserts i don't like the pocket inserts in them so you guys have seen this traveler's notebook before but like i mentioned i just have everything kind of placed where i want it to i do have some goodies in here that i want to find a spot for so here's a number three dashboard this is annie plans printables vacation insert so i just have that up front then i have another dashboard or this is a secretarial pocket or number three also Next, I have Annie Plans Printables. This is the October through December. So we're going at the end of November, but I feel like coming up until like we leave, there's stuff that I can write in there. So this is the horizontal layout. This is probably going to be used for pre-planning, time the shows are each day and things like that. There's the back side of that. I have this little pocket insert thing. It holds credit cards, so I thought that would be cute to stick like... I don't know, like memorabilia stuff in here as the trip goes on. This is from Pineapple Papery. Another number three dashboard. And then I just cut some black cardstock. I really enjoy writing on black cardstock. And I have just a white jelly roll pen that I'm going to be sticking in here also. So I just have a few sheets of that. Okay, more than a few. The back side of the dashboard, the back side of that pocket thing, another number three dashboard. And the last thing that I have is not stapled. I do need a stapler. So I think I might take this one out for now. But what this is, it's an undated day on two pages. So it has a timed, it has a little grid area, and then it has a whole grid space here. So I thought that would be cute to like write down what we have scheduled for the day or what time the parks open and then what else we can do or what shows are for the day. And then just use this spot as like journaling. I'm going to be using my Erin Condren as journaling also, but I thought this would be, I don't know, I think this would work out really good. And then I just have two of them because we're going to be there for two weeks. I could not figure out how to kind of put these together. So what I ended up doing was just gluing the two inserts together. I do need to get a stapler and staple it down. But that's what I ended up doing. Can you see it there? Like these two are glued together. Yeah, I'm going to take this out for now because it's just going to end up falling out. There's the back side of the dashboard. That is the initial setup of it without any of the pretty decorations and stuff anyway so i went to scrapbook.com i just typed in disney and i found some scrapbook paper this one specifically is by echo park it's called the magic and wonder collection so i just got this sheet here i got a variety of sheets because i don't know i like to play around this one is from this one is from simple stories this one is the say cheese 3 collection but this is what this paper looks like wait is this a whole maybe it's a whole pack okay maybe it is a whole pack and it's just loose i bought the pack of simple story say cheese number three collection so all of those papers are here
Okay, so that's all the scrapbook paper. And then it came with stickers. Then what I did was I purchased the Heidi Swap foilable, I think any, um, vellum is foilable i purchased hers because i figured for sure it will work and i just made my own vellum so i have a piece of vellum and then i have a piece of acetate so, but so i made these because i do like vellum and acetate in my planners and then i just have these stickers here And then I bought the die cuts. I have these Heidi Swap adhesive pockets. And then I have the Target Dollar Spot adhesive pocket labels to put all over the dashboards to stuff even more stuff in there. And I have my Penjam pen that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be slipping this in along with my jelly roll to write on top of the black insert. I'm going to be sticking this in my pen. And then I'm also going to bring a back up. I'm going to stick that in one of the pockets. And that is pretty much it. Let's jump into it. Okay, first things first i did choose my paper that i'm going to be using for this first dashboard so i just pulled this out of my first insert each insert is wrapped with some kind of dashboard so i can really chunk it up i do like my planners or my traveler's notebooks very chunky and just filled with a whole bunch of cute stuff don't laugh at my measuring um but i like it to make a make it a little bit smaller i do do one i do do i do do one full sheet and just kind of tuck it into both sides but i do like it a little bit smaller because i hate struggling trying to put it in don't laugh at my measuring but so this way is 8.25 and then this way because i don't want to struggle it is 5.1 after the half so as in one little line after the half so for the first page it was so hard to decide because there's so many cute patterns but i really do love this tassel and i'm going to so this is kind of how it's going to look once i cut it out this will be the back side this is going to be the front side and there's this space right here that i can put some decorations and i'm going to put this big castle right on there and i'm just going to start layering things i was going to put the year but honestly it takes me a lot to decorate and set up a traveler's notebook and i really have to be in the mood and i'm not gonna want to redo it next year i mean there's a possibility i might but i think this is just going to be my disney setup every year i really do enjoy all of the things that i picked out to set up this planner so yeah i'm just i think i'm gonna leave it so i'm gonna go ahead get this trimmed out i'm gonna layer some stickers some die cuts i don't know whatever i'm gonna find and set this first dashboard up So that is dash number one. This is what you're going to see as soon as you open it. I just used the castle, decorated it with some random little stickers. I used the admit one little quote thing that I found on this big sheet. I thought is, that is hilarious. You know, planner girls, you know, don't touch my planner. So, you know, just admit one. Admit me. This is the back. I thought that was really cute because it kind of just has, you know, all of the mouse mousy words i do want to decorate the back of that i am oh there's a little heart here let's put that there i do have this little custom selfie this is done by her name is savvy on instagram on etsy and i believe that's her facebook group name too she opened up custom doodles and this was my custom one i actually have two i'm obsessed but I had asked her to completely make me a Disney theme. These are actually my Cheshire Cat ears. I sent her a picture and she copied them so amazingly. And then I also asked her to make me a Mickey planner. And this was my Moonlit. And I asked her for the Mickey bow. And she even went ahead and made Mickey as my eye. I absolutely love my little custom doodle. I am just going to stick this right here. I'm not going to put anything else in there because she just deserves just one spot all to her, her own let's see i'm gonna go ahead and slip this in i feel like when you're putting it together and when everything's in its place it's kind of easier to kind of figure out what you want to do so that's what that looks like so far i kind of want to cover up this 
sheet here but I am gonna start off and I need to put some kind of a bling in here so I'm gonna put some acetate usually I kind of like to protect this but not today it's just gonna go in there I'm hoping it's not gonna scratch off or flake or anything but I feel like I need some shine already in here because I think I'm gonna put the vellum in the back all right so I'm gonna go ahead measure this out and I will be right back Okay, so there is my acetate. I just rounded the corners so I don't poke anybody's fingers off because it does get pretty sharp. So I just measured it with the insert. I'm gonna go ahead and slip this in right behind here. So that is that. Like I said, I think I wanna decorate this page. This is the like pre-planning section. And I'm gonna try and find one of these cards to kind of just cover up everything. It's probably gonna have to be one of the bigger ones. And I'll just have to trim it down. I'm thinking let the memories begin it might be cute because it's kind of pre-planning so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this one out and then trim it down until it fits nicely on this insert right here and slap that on there so it's nice and cute be right back And just like that, I have a very simple cover page. I'm debating whether or not to put one on the back because now it's kind of not off, but now it kind of doesn't match. Yeah, I'm going to have to cover that. Here we go again. I think I'm going to use this one because I don't really care for the back of this one. But what I'm going to do is cut a piece out to glue on the back just like I did the cover page and then I'm gonna layer a pocket on top of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, get this one set up, and I will be right back. All right, so that's there. I'm hoping it doesn't pop off. I'm gonna get one of these Target one spot um, adhesive pockets. It just looks like this and I'm going to center it right on here. All right, so that is that. And now I can start like putting like cute stuff in there. I don't have too much die cuts or anything just yet, but I can start with what I have. Oh wait, does my stickers fit? So I did print off some stickers. These are the Mommy's Minis stickers. I don't have these available in the shop. Well, definitely not these, but I do plan on adding some Disney stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in here for now, and then maybe just this coffee cup. I don't think I'm gonna you know, put anything tall enough to cover up the top, so I'm gonna find another sticker. We're gonna put magic. All right, this I'm going to leave blank for now. And then I'm going to put another Target One Spot adhesive pocket right here. I'm just going to stick this coffee and essentials die cut in there for now. And maybe this one. Just for now, I will for sure find more stuff. Second insert is a secretarial pocket. Head and find some scrapbook paper. Cut it down and just stick it inside. And I will be right back. I'm 
I'm going to tuck this back where it belongs. Kind of bend it just a little bit. I feel like it does need a little something right here though. I feel like it needs an M right there. And I'm going to put it on the inside so it's protected. Alright, so that will do for now until I put more and more stuff in it. I like that there's a pocket here to just kind of tuck more things in there. Do I want to cover the October through December insert? I think I'm gonna cover it up because why not? I've already did the first one and I really do like how the first one came out. And these cards are actually pretty perfect for it. So, I mean, it's not too much trimming. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, I'm gonna use this one right here because it's definitely like opposite of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this trimmed up. I'm gonna we'll be right back. Okay, so there is the front cover. Now to do the back cover. 100% fun. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and then place this on the back and I will be right back. Okay, I cut that one a little bit too short, but you can barely tell. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now and we'll see how I decorate it. I will definitely do a flip through closer to the trip um, but I probably won't upload it until I'm on the trip or after the trip and then I will do a flip through once it's like fully completed and filled out but I'm pretty sure it's going to get a lot more stuff in there once like it gets closer to the trip I'm going to find like more stuff to stuff in here more decorations add more stickers add more embellishments so I'm pretty sure it's going to it's going to look a lot different after you know. all right so that is that moving on to the next dashboard what is this what is this this one's a little bit dirty i'm going to roll with it so like i mentioned around the black inserts i am going to put this red vellum inside of the dashboard so i'm using that same dashboard so i'm going to go ahead and use my same simple measurements i'm going to cut off where it didn't foil first. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this cut up, and then I will be right back. Okay, so I have my villum trimmed down. I'm just going to tuck it into here. All right, so there is that. It's pretty dark behind here. I might have to lighten it up with one of the scrapbook papers you know maybe this polka dot one because i don't care for the cameras put that behind there yes yes and yes oh but then the cameras is going to show on the other side wow look how much cuter that is okay i miscut this one Okay, let's me cut this one correctly this time and I will be right back. Okay. <laughs> this thing barely bends. Let's hope it bends once I put it back in here. Oh no, it's good. I just need to bend it because it's so thick. All right, stick that back in. All right. Now moving on to the last one, which I think I'm going to use this one because this is wrapped around the insert for the daily plans. So I think this would be fun, like tickets to like the parks every single day. So I think this would be perfect and the backing is perfect too. I'm very happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this one out, hopefully the correct size. Slip that in. Can you tell I'm getting tired? Like plus two I filmed my plan with me right before this and then I was like no nah, let me just get this all done and um no I need to go this way let me let me let me concentrate yeah this way okay so I filmed my plan with me right before this 
And now I'm filming this because I was in the mood, ready to do it. And I didn't, I skipped eating. I didn't eat yet. So now I'm, I'm feeling the lack of food. But I just, just want to finish this. Okay, I totally talked through all of that. So I'm hoping I measured correctly. Just like so. It is pretty plain and missing some of the colors. So I might go back and layer some stickers or layer some... Um, die cuts or things like that but i feel like once i get too much into this then i start like getting sloppy with it and just kind of throwing stuff together and i end up not being happy with it so what i'm gonna do is just leave it how it is right now like i said i'm gonna go ahead oh wait i need this insert um like i said i'm gonna film a flip through once it's like completely set up like right before the trip because then i'll have everything in it set and ready to go and then you can see like the final outcome of me decorating it because i'm sure i'll find a whole bunch more goodies to like stuff in there and things like that so like i said i'm going to be using this one to cover oh that's gonna look so cute I don't know, I'm really excited for this little cover page right here. Okay, I'm actually going to use this one and place it this way and it should work fine. It's the same size as the other cards I was using and then I'll just trim it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this one down on the back side of that insert and I will be right back. I know everybody's different. You know, some people would want to put the words coming this way, some people would wanna put the words going this way. I personally point them like outwards, not inwards. Does that make sense? So like when you're looking at it, it's going to point that way, like out towards the book. Outwards. Okay, I just wanted to tuck that in there, even though I know it's going to fall out, just to kind of see what it looks like. And I love it. So I love how like this is just brown and then you turn the page and it's all colorful again. And yeah, that's what it's looking like so far. I need to stop, I need to eat, and I will come back and just kind of finish maybe putting in some pockets. There's not much else that I'm going to be doing to this right now. It is pretty much set up, but I will come back and just maybe add a little bit more embellishments, a little bit more stickers because I have them like seriously all still sitting here. I have tons of stuff to choose from. I still have this big sheet that I can use. so. I'm going to eat. I will be back to film this even though I don't know why I'm telling you that because when you're watching this it's going to literally be like two seconds later. All right be right back. Okay it's actually a whole lot later now. Now I'm just going to stick more pockets places because like I said I love pockets. So let's grab one of these pockets and just kind of place them places. I think I'm going to put this one on the inside of this dashboard. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to lay off the pockets <laughs> before I go too crazy. Okay, so that is that. Next, oh, I don't know if I have any more pen loops. Right now I do just have this gold one. I brought out this Mickey clip which I will probably use for the current day. So for now, because this insert is loose, I'm just gonna clip all of these together. But I, yeah, I think I am gonna use this for whatever day we are currently on. It's just a Mickey head. I did get that from Disneyland. And for now, I would just also clip this pen loop here to hold my pen gem there we go just like so and then i'm going to get another one to hold a white jelly roll pen but i'm going to put that on a page marker so what i'm going to do is pretty much just make a page marker it's been floating around instagram for a while now um i forgot the original person that started making them's name but uh once i find it i'll leave the link down below but it's basically just like a very big bookmark i think i'm going to use the words what's on the other side words and polka dots yeah that'll be cute because normally you would laminate them and then kind of like embellish them and then put a pocket on it and it's just like a little mini page marker. So let me just cut this down to the normal size of an insert and I will be right back. Okay, so here I have my page marker. I'm just going to round the corners. This is what I'm gonna have to laminate. 
and I think it actually beeped already. So I'm just going to embellish this just a little bit. All right, let me run this through the laminator and I will be right back. Now that I think about it, I don't want to waste a whole sheet just to laminate this. So what I just quickly did was I found a die cut of a bow and I just stuck that on the top so it kind of sticks out of my planner once it's all laminated. So that's kind of what it'll look like depending on where I place it, but it's just going to stick out ever so slightly. The next thing I think I'm going to do is maybe a mini bookmark i kind of want to make it skinny i don't want it too fat to be honest so yeah i don't want it to be too fat so i think i am just going to start layering things on here and see how it turns out and then i'm just going to measure it because i also don't want it to be too long so i just want that to come out like that and i'm just going to snip it so when I use my book marker, it'll be just like that. And now I'm just going to use these die cuts and literally just layer it until I get something that I like. So there is my little bookmark. I feel like it needs some black in there. We can fix that with some of these simple clear stickers. And there we go. I feel like that balances out just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and laminate this and my page marker here. I have that laminated out and it's still hot. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. These are pretty junk scissors. Oh no, they're okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut can you even hear me? Cut this out and I'll be right back. My space is getting extremely messy. Okay, so I now have my bookmark. I have my page marker for this. Oh, where's my pocket? So I'm going to put a pocket right on the front of this one. So that is that. I just pulled out some other embellishments. I'm going to put this here. This is also from Her Name is Savvy. It just says I have a big plans. Maybe one of my bows and I'll find more stuff for this. This is from, this comes with the die cuts that I sell. So I do sell a die cut just like that. I'm going to place this, maybe I'll place it in here. And then I can use that when we're on our way back from Disney or something like that. So how this would work is use you, am I st I'm stuttering already. You would just place it, you know, just as a page marker. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase another one of these clips and i'm going to have two pens in here and i'm going to clip i don't know probably my white one my white jelly roll pen to this so this is kind of what it's going to look like except it's going to have the white jelly roll and i'll probably keep this one right inside of here but for now i'm going to put this where i do plan on keeping it and that is with this insert here and then i just have my today marker so if i'm not using this clip then i will probably use this bookmark so it can just stick out just like that i'm going to move it over even more that way you can see both so today there's the little page marker and then i did bring out this bow I don't know, just to stick somewhere because I have like 101 pockets. I'm probably going to stick scrapbook paper in these to make it look a little bit more full and more kind of tied together before they actually get stuffed with things. I have my Mickey Mouse page flags. I sold these a long time ago. I no longer sell them, but I am going to bring them. I have Minnie Mouse ones too, and then I have Princess ones, but I don't know where they are. It's gonna stick them in here but they stick out just a little bit too much that I'm afraid that they're gonna get snagged. Oh, I guess that'll work. There we go. And then I'll just put my bow on the other side for now. Okay, that and maybe I can find my other ones and use those on the trip for some extra decorations. I know I want to make like a washi card um, to stick in here just to kind of decorate on the go like these pages especially if there's not a lot going on. 
but I didn't even think about that and I didn't pull any washi. So either I will have a part two of setting this up because there's still a few more things that I want to put in here that I need to figure out. Um, and also a couple of things that I think I might want to purchase for it. But anyways, that is the setup so far. I'll zoom you in and do a quick little flip through. So like I mentioned earlier, I need to be in the mood to decorate this. And because I've been at it for about maybe two hours now, if not more, I'm kind of over it. So I'll have to just come back to it later, finish decorating it later, gather some more things that I want to put in here. And yeah, I'll probably make a part two because like I said, I know I want to do like a washi card. Um, I want to find a little bit more embellishments. I do want to decorate just a little bit more. But for now, this will definitely do. I'm glad I started. So let's do a quick flip through. So of course, I have the paper clips. They'll probably stay here. There is, I'm going to have to hold it up. There is the cover, the back side of the dashboard, the foiled vellum. The very first insert which is just vacation planning backside with the pocket with some stickers and then I like I think I'm gonna print out some more that coffee cup that I cut out of the scrapbook paper backside of that acetate the next dashboard with yet another pocket that front side of the first dashboard oh actually this is the secretarial and then this is the horizontal inserts which I'm going to be using for pre-planning or trying to schedule out like what we're gonna be doing each day back side of that dashboard the insert or like pocket insert thing from pineapple papery next dashboard with the vellum and two sheets of scrapbook paper in there so i could get the prints that i wanted my black inserts to kind of just doodle on and just i don't know just jot a bunch of random things down my page marker with the pocket back side of that dashboard with the vellum and the two sheets of scrapbook paper back side of that pocket Last dashboard with the daily plans that is going to be used while I'm on the trip. Page marker, my Mickey clip. I have other clips too that I'll probably throw in here. My pen holder um, with my pen gem clip, which I still need to change the ink. Oh, and I'm going to put this in here before like I leave on my trip and then I totally forget to pack it. I'm just going to tuck it into the back as my backup ink. I do have a coupon code for pen gems. It's always linked down below. It'll give you 10% off your pen gems order. I love them. I collect them. I get everyone that I possibly can. So that's that. And then the back side, of course, you're never too old for a little magic. And the back side of that last dashboard. That is about it. What I do need to find is a bow, a Disney inspired. I need something for over here. Hope you guys like this video. This ended up being very cheap. I want to say everything that I purchased, like the scrapbook paper, all of the die cuts, all of these stickers, less than $20 because I think they were having a sale when I purchased everything. That is pretty cheap for decorating a planner and i think it came out pretty cute there's a lot of elements that you can use and just layer and yeah i'm really happy with the outcome i hope to film a part two of this of just finishing up decorating it if that doesn't happen like i mentioned i will have a flip through before my trip I don't know if it'll go up before the trip just because there's going to have like personal information in there about like what we're going to be doing, where we're going and things like that, like hotel information. If I can cover that up, then it'll go up before. But other than that, that is it for this video for now. I hope you guys like it and I will catch you guys in my next one. Thanks always for watching. Bye guys.